हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज विकास सो फ्रेंड्स लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द सेशन इन दिस वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग इंपॉर्टेंट मंथली अफेयर्स ऑफ जनवरी मंथ दिस सेशन विल बी वेरी हेल्पफुल टू यू इट विल बी अ क्विक रिवीजन फॉर द होल जनवरी मंथ एंड एन इंपॉर्टेंट सेशन so friends we have an app by the name carrier's cloud which you can go and download through the play store once you have downloaded and logged in through your gmail id you will be transferred to this page and you can see here various all courses and various other sections provided to us the courses that are provided by our team are very helpful and they will be very useful in your preparation in the courses that we provide we give you daily current affairs weekly current affairs and monthly current affairs in daily current affairs we will be providing you with multiple quiz of 20 questions daily then we'll be giving you the daily current affairs content also similarly for weekly we will providing you 50 questions of quiz on weekly basis as well as all the important current affairs of that week will be given to you in an ebook similarly for monthly basis apart from this we'll be providing you with banking awareness and all the banking relating exams so don't worry your preparation is in our hands we'll be providing you with the best content apart from this then you should know we covered topic wise important daily topic wise or the monthly topic wise are covered in our course we'll give you 20 types of such pdf that will cover apps and web portals important days books and authors national affairs international affairs sports awards applications and web portals and defense sector all the topics that you see of general studies are basically covered here as you saw we provide current affairs in english hindi banking affairness exam pdf special current affairs topic wise current affairs are provided to you state current affairs then topic wise quizzes are provided to you there is another section in special current affairs that is learn from picture and we have named this infographics infographics are your interactive pdfs that you can interact with they are highly informative i highly suggest you to go and check these out because they will be helping you to learn things in an interactive way so do check them out they will be very valuable to you all you have to do is to purchase our course you can use code vikas10 that will be giving you an additional 10% discount on the purchase you make so it is a bumper offer all you have to do is go and download our app and check our courses so friends we'll start with our session so friends let's start with our session in this we will be discussing important monthly affairs of January month this session will be very helpful to you it will be a quick revision for the whole January month and an important session all right so do watch the video till the end and first of all like the video all right before starting i want you to everyone like the video and then we'll proceed let's start with the national news government approved 19th tranche of electoral bonds how many tranches of electoral bonds were approved 19th remember the number jharkhand partnered with indian school of business to boost forest economy recently which government or which state has recently partnered with indian school of business in the field of for boosting forest economy it was your jharkhand then uttarakhand chief minister pushkar singh dhami has launched a free mobile tablet scheme union education minister dharmendra pradhan launched padhe bharat a 100 days reading campaign if asked padhe padhe bharat was launched by which ministry so it is your education ministry or your hrd ministry information technology minister ashwini yadav remember the name who is our inform it minister he is ashwini vaishnav launched india semiconductor mission india semiconductor mission launched by ashwini vaishnav next some task forces were set up by the department of telecommunications to explore the 6g development in the field of 6g there are 3g 4g 5g now we are testing 6g so to explore 6g development how many task force were set up 6 task force was set up center recently released 830 crore rupees to odisha for jal jeevan mission important mark this jal jeevan mission is a uh, initiative or a scheme of which state it is of odisha and recently 830 crore rupees investment was allocated or it was this amount was released by center to provide for jal jeevan mission pradhan prime minister modi laid the foundation stone of major dhyan chand sports university where it is in merit up important Ladakh recently celebrated Losar festival where is Losar Ladakh and if i ask you Losong festival it is of Sikkim Himachal Pradesh became the first LPG enabled and smoke free indian state mark this Telangana topped in highest number of open defecation free villages 
Telangana, mark this. These all are the important ones. That's why I'm asking you to. These are the, you can say, of all the one-liners of the whole January month that are important for you. All right, like Telangana, highly important, can be asked. Of Himachal Pradesh, the important question becomes first LPG-enabled smoke-free Indian state. All right, moving on then. Education Minister Dharmendra Pradhan launched NEET 3.0 EdTech solution. This was NEET 3.0 EdTech solution and another thing that was launched was Padhe Bharat. So first Padhe Bharat and second NEET 03, uh, 3.0 ad tech solution launched by education minister azure power commission 600 megawatt solar project by scci in bikaner rajasthan then let's start bring some questions also that will help you in preparation which country recently launched a commemorative logo a commemorative logo was launched in the marking the or celebrating the 30th anniversary of its diplomatic ties with india so remember israel and india completed 30 years of their diplomatic ties so in in a memory of it and in order to celebrate it a commemorative logo was recently launched so the correct option here becomes option five all right next as per the transparency international's corruption perception index corruption perception index for the year 2021 what was the rank of india in the corruption perception index the rank of india was 85th and the country that topped was your denmark so the correct option becomes second all right mark this and it was the 85th rank of india that you should know in this particular if asked score what was the cpi score that is your corruption perception index score of india it was 40 next and one more thing yes if asked who releases this corruption perception index it is released by transparency international ti transparency international releases this cpi next which bank recently launched an easy paid debit card in a fitness watch in partnership with healthcare platform goki i repeat you have to name the bank that was launched or that has recently launched a debit card that in a fitness watch that means a debit card was launched in a fitness band only that is your fitness watches so it was in partnership with healthcare platform that is goki what is the name of that bank it is your tell me which is that bank it is your city union bank and this bank is also known as the oldest private sector bank that is your oldest private sector bank is your city union bank that was in partner with goki next which company partnered with pencilton to launch pencil card india's first debit card with the national common mobility card for teens so a pencil card that was launched specifically specifically targeting teens what is the name of the company it is your transcorp that was recently in partnership with pencilton so it was a joint project of transcorp and pencil turn to launch pencil card next coming to one-liners alka mittal appointed as the first women chairman and managing director of ongc she was hr and then she was uh, temporarily transport appointed or promoted to the post of cmd till the next CA appointment of CMD takes place. Shefali Verma appointed as the brand endorser of BOB, that is your Bank of Baroda. TS Trimurthy assumed new chair of UNCTC, that is your Union United Nations Counter Terrorism Committee. I repeat, UNCTC, who is the new chairman of uh, UNCTC, he is TS Trimurthy. Vinny Mahajan took the charge as secretary in the Ministry of Jal Shakti. Atul Kashyap appointed as the president of US India Business Council that is also by famously known as USIBC United States India Business Council and who is the new president Atul Keshap Zhang Ming took over as secretary general of Shanghai Corporation Organization who is the new secretary general of SEO Zhang Ming Vijay Paul Sharma reappointed as the chairman of commissions for agriculture cost and prices that is CACP who is the new appointed chairman or reappointed chairman of CACP Vijay Paul Sharma which bank recently launched an easy pay debit card in a fitness watch we just saw what is the name of the bank city union bank which company built the world's fastest ai intelligence supercomputer also known as the ai supercluster so recently world's fastest artificial intelligence supercomputer known as ai r 
एस सी दैट इज रिसर्च सुपर क्लस्टर वॉज लॉन्च बाई विच कंपनी इट वॉज योर मेटा मेटा वॉज अर्लियर नोन एज फेसबुक एंड मेटावर्स इज ऑल्सो एसोसिएटेड विद फेसबुक इट ऑल्सो ऑन्स इंस्टाग्राम एंड व्हाट्सएप ऑल राइट नेक्स्ट नेम द मेरी टाइम एक्सरसाइज दैट वॉज रिसेंटली कंडक्टेड बाय द इंडियन नेवी एट द अरेबियन सी इंडियन नेवी conducted this exercise where was it conducted it was conducted in are bnc in this exercise indian coast guard indian army air force also took part in this exercise what is the name of this exercise it is your paschim lahar mark this highly important next coming to sports david warner melly matthews David Warner and Haley Matthews declared as the ICC player of the month for this is for the November month so no need to remember this ignore these change every month next BCCI formed committee for differently abled cricketers mark this important india won 16 medals in the commonwealth weight lifting championship of 2021 that was held at tasket uzbekistan k shriknath won silver at the badminton world badminton championship bwa that is your badminton world federations world badminton championship k shriknath won the silver medal and if we are talking about the same championship who won the gold medal law keen you won the gold medal why k shriknath is important because he became the first indian to won this medal at this world badminton championship at that to the silver medal all right so world gold medal won by lon ki you and if we are talking about then women single akane yamaguchi won the gold medal for women single title next name the decommissioned indian naval ship that was recently handed over to the du government all right and they converted into a museum so what is the name of that particular indian naval ship it is ins khukri so remember ins khukri it was handed over to the du administration and they converted into museum next who authored the book a little book of india celebrating 75 years of independence this book was authored by whom it was authored by ruskin bond highly important book that you should know for this particular january month it is your a little book of india celebrating 75 years of independence authored by ruskin bond which country recently signed a 340 uh, 375 million dollar deal with brahmos aerospace private limited to procure brahmos missile it was your philippines country remember important philippines country is per- currently purchasing brahmos missile from india then remember brahmos is a joint venture between india and russia next name the company that recently launched india's first intelligent messenger named pop to invest and track market so the name of the messenger is pop and it is the india's first intelligent messenger the organization that launched it was your paytm money next question coming to international news india and uzbekistan partner to promote cooperation and intensify interregional cooperation can you tell me right now there is a tension going between two countries it is your russia and ukraine russia don't want ukraine to be part of nato what is not uh, nato not uh, nato stands for north atlantic treaty organization all right so you, russia don't want ukraine to be a part of nato so this there is a tension going between these countries just you should know this is an update india and vietnam signed agreement to establish partnership in digital media and in the field of it world's most admired man of 2021 prime minister narendra modi secured the eighth spot mark this karl neymar sworn as the chancellor of austria gabriel boric elected as the president of chile fifth true callers global scam and global spam and scam record india was ranked fourth and brazil topped in it i repeat in true callers fifth edition of global spam and scam report of 2021 india was ranked fourth and in this the country that topped was your brazil next which in which company google recently announced to invest 1 billion dollar to develop india's digital ecosystem Google will be investing currently in Bharti Airtel and the amount will be 1 billion dollar it will be to develop India's digital ecosystem
in january 150 indian villages were converted into the villages of excellence with the help of which country israel is helping india to convert 150 villages into the villages of excellence with technical help from the israel all right moving on which bank recently listed its first 300 million dollar formosa bonds on india inx and became the first entity this term is important the first indian entity to raise money through formosa bond is your state bank of india very important first entity to raise money through your formosa bond are your state bank of india next prime minister narendra modi inaugurated and laid foundation of the development projects worth 4800 crore rupees in imphal manipur these both terms are important ujala scheme completed 7 years and over 36 crore 70 lakh eleds were distributed along among the countries or across the country so far then next you need to remember world food program and your akshaya patra foundation the akshaya patra foundation and your world food program recently partnered to enhance pm poshan scheme kerala high court became the india's first paperless court so india's first paperless court is your kerala's high court sir bandana sonowal laid the foundation stone of the international yoga academy in hyderabad location is highly important where was the first or, or where was the international yoga academy recently set up it was in hyderabad Himachal Pradesh Chief Minister launched Unnati Portal a website as well as a mobile application and signed an MOU with Sale for the supply of steel remember Unnati Portal launched by the Himachal Pradesh state moving on which company recently partnered with Fiki to support 5 lakh women led small businesses under hashtag she means business so who started this awareness campaign that is hashtag she means business it was started by it is asking which organization all right which company recently so dash company partnered with fiki to support 5 lakh women led small businesses and it was started under a campaign that was hashtag means uh, she means business it is your meta that is facebook or you can say but it has been changed to meta now who was recently awarded the sir garfield sowers trophy for icc men's cricketer of the year 2020 won who won it it was won by shahin shah afridi of pakistan he won the sir garfield sober trophy for icc men's cricket of the year 2021 next who was recently appointed as the chief economic advisor for the ministry of finance so who is our new chief economic advisor the name is who he is anantha nageshwaran ji anantha nageshwaran became the new chief economic advisor for the ministry of finance next now you have to identify the institution that organized the first ever startup india innovation week this is also important that what what is the date from which we organized the or we celebrated the startup india innovation week it was from 10 to 6th of 16th of january and remember on 16th of january we observed national startup day on 16th of january national startup day so which is the organization that observed this week it is observed by dp iit next government recently launched national helpline to report atrocities against scs and sts andhra pradesh inked a pact with unfao and icar for sustainable agriculture mark these both terms unfao united nation food and agriculture organization along with indian council of agriculture research they signed a pact with which state government with andhra pradesh for the sustainable agriculture ntpc will set up india's first green hydrogen microgrid projects where in shimadri andhra pradesh then durga puja on unesco's intangible cultural heritage of humanity list this is the culture that you cannot touch that is your intangible so in unesco's intangible cultural heritage of humanity list durga puja was listed and it is of west bengal jharkhand's chief minister launched sport action toward harnessing aspiration of youth that is a sahay scheme this was the full form you need to know the full form also the full form is sports action toward harnessing aspiration of youth that is your sahay scheme for moist hit areas and launched by jharkhand seventh india international science festival that was held at panji goa pfc signed an agreement with green cell mobility for the development of 350 electric buses in uttar pradesh also remember uttar pradesh became the city or became the state that topped in most number of sales of electric vehicles all right 
नेक्स्ट मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हैवी इंडस्ट्रीज लॉन्च इंडिया फर्स्ट कोल टू मैथेनॉल प्लांट एंड वेयर वॉज दिस कोल टू मैथेनॉल प्लांट लॉन्च इट वॉज लॉन्च इन हैदराबाद Which village from Kerala recently became the India's first ever sanitary napkin free village? India's first ever sanitary napkin free village is your Kumbalangi village. Where it is? It is located in Kerala. Also remember this Kumbalangi village is also known as India's first eco-friendly tourist village. All right, remember this term. Eco-friendly tourist village of India is your Kumbalangi village. Next, which company recently partnered with Bank of Baroda Financial Solution and NPCI to launch a contactless rupee credit card? Which is the organization? It is your Snapdeal. Snapdeal has partnered with Bank of Baroda Financial Solution along with NPCI to launch a contactless rupee credit card. Next question. According to the Ministry of Commerce and Industries, India is set to achieve the targeted export level of how much million dollar or how much billion dollar until what year so the expected amount is 650 billion dollar by the year 2120 2 identify the organization that recently launched a mobile app called sarthi to provide education to investors sarthi was launched by whom it is asked here so dimitri oh organization is being asked here i repeat so which is the organization that launched this mobile app sarthi to provide education to investors it is your sebi what does sebi stands for securities and exchange board of india launched a mobile app that is known by the sarthi all right highly important this is an ed investor education app based in mumbai maharashtra all right and this application is available in two languages hindi as well as english next who was recently appointed as the chairman and managing director of air india by succeeding rajiv bansal so vikram devdat vikram devdat will be succeeding rajiv bansal to become the chairman and managing director of air india next dash became the youngest ever president of european union this question is important do pay attention roberta metsola all right remember roberta metsola she became the youngest ever president of she became the youngest ever president of european union and third woman to head european union roberta metsola all right and if asked roberta metsola belongs from which country she is from malta indonesia replaced jakarta with new capital what is the new capital of jakarta tell me highly important question what is the new capital of jakarta it is nusantara nusantara is the new capital of jakarta of indonesia because jakarta was replaced why because it is very prone to climate change and this capital is prone to flooding to be precise and various other climate factors so they indonesians shifted their capital from jakarta to nusantara then assam government signed an mou with nddb to set up a joint venture worth 2000 crore rupees for dairy development assam government for dairy development mou with nddb for 2000 crore rupees then bhupender yadav chaired 19th meeting of the national tiger conservation authority that 14 tiger conservers got the cats accreditation also remember this also how many tiger reserve got this accreditation 14th Ministry of External Affairs selected TCS for the second phase of the passport seva program so for passport seva program for the second phase of passport seva program which organization was selected by MEA it was your TCS Odisha's Ganjam district was declared child marriage free National Health Mission launched project Nirmay in Assam Kevadia railway station it was changed to Ekta Nagar railway station where is Kevadia railway station in Gujarat and it is the station that leads to statue of unity next KVIC that is your Khadi and Village Industries Commission launched India's first mobile honey processing van at Ghaziabad so where was this launched at Ghaziabad what was launched India's first mobile honey processing van and launched by whom by KVIC next 15th meeting of the BRICS science and technology innovations steering committee that is your STIC decided that dash will host five events it decided that india will be hosting five events in 2022 and dash will chair the 2022 remember china will chair for 2022 and india will be hosting how many 
इवेंट्स इंडिया विल बी होस्टिंग फाइव इवेंट्स सो द करेक्ट ऑप्शन बिकम्स ऑप्शन थ्री नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन Indian tennis player Sanya Mirza recently announced her retirement. The question asked here is that in which year did she receive the Major Dhyan Chand Khel Ratan Award? So in which year did she receive this Major Dhyan Chand Khel Ratan Award? She was awarded with this award in 2015. Also remember she was awarded Arjuna Award in 2004, Padma Shri in 2006, Rajiv Gandhi Khel Ratan in 2015 and Padma Bhushan in 2016 and all these were awarded her to in the for the sports for her tennis next which country or who recently won the prime minister election of barbados for the second consecutive term so for the second consecutive term who is becoming the prime minister of barbados mia amor mia amor motley she is becoming the prime minister of barbados for the second consecutive term Next, state government of Dash signed an MOU with Haryana for construction of Adi Dadri Dam for the revival of Dash River. So remember this Adi Badri Dam. A uh, construction is to be done on this dam. So which two government has signed an MOU? It is your Himachal Pradesh and Haryana has signed an MOU for the construction of the Adi Badri Dam. for the revival of which river it is for the revival of saraswati river who recently got appointed by undp as india's first ever youth climate champion prajakta kohli she is a youtuber by mostly uh, she is on youtube by the name mostly sane and she has been appointed by undp as the india's first ever youth climate champion kochi became india's first city to have water metro project Telangana government launched first of its kind mobile app that is your urban forest park. Jammu and Kashmir signed an MOU with Dubai Century Financial to receive a 100 million dollar investment. Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated MSME Technology Center and Perunthalivir in Puducherry. Just remember this PM Modi inaugurated MSME Technology Center and Perunthalivir in Puducherry. India's oldest sloth bear named Gulabu highly important she died at one vihar national park in Bhopal Madhya Pradesh highly important two things from there hey, you have to remember what is the name of the india's oldest sloth bear gulabo or gulabo is the india's oldest sloth bear she died where in one vihar national park and where is this one vihar national park it is in Bhopal that is in Madhya Pradesh also remember in gwalior first ever drone mela was observed then supreme court appointed a high level committee to investigate prime minister's security breach in punjab that was headed by indu malhotra india's first heli hub what is a heli hub as you know airports are for aeroplane so for helicopters it is your heli hub india's first heli hub to be set up in gurugram haryana all right mark this important here all your helicopters will be uh, took play they will be catered with any problem garage will be made proper them their storage will be done all right so first heli hub in gurugram haryana janvi dangeti an engineering student from dash became the first indian to complete nasa's international air and space program nasa's international and air program was completed by janvi devi she is from which state this question is being asked to you she is from andhra pradesh highly important she is just 19 years of old and an engineering student from west godavari district of andhra pradesh which country recently developed a 2 feet large artificial moon this artificial moon and if asked which is the country that achieved the temperature that is 10 times the temperature of the surface of sun it is your china artificial moon or your east project that was related to achieving the temperature 10 times that of the sun they achieved it for 110 seconds approximately next in january dash published a study on artificial intelligence which ranked india at dash position in terms of spending and investment on ai so remember as per the data of booking institution of booking institution india was ranked 6th in terms of spending and investing in the artificial intelligence field so the rank of india was 6 as per the booking institute who was recently honored with the netaji award for 2022 by netaji research bureau highly important question so the organization or oh, sorry the person is shinzo 
एबे हु इज चिंजो एबे ही इज द फॉर्मर प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ जापान एंड अर्लियर ही वॉज ऑल्सो अवॉर्डेड विद पदमा विभूषण इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन फॉर पब्लिक अफेयर्स ऑल राइट एंड नाउ ही हैज बिन ऑनर्ड विद नेताजी अवार्ड फॉर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू बाय द नेताजी सुभाष ब्यूरो नेम द इंडियन मूवी दैट रिसेंटली वन द बेस्ट फिल्म अवार्ड अंडर एशियन फिल्म कैटेगरी एट ट्वेंटी एथ ढाका इंटरनेशनल फिल्म फेस्टिवल सो द नेम ऑफ द मूवी इज खुजांगल एंड रिमेंबर खुजांगल इज अ तमिल मूवी खुजांगल नेक्स्ट Prime Minister Modi inaugurated MSME Technology Center we saw in Puducherry. Oldest sloth bear Gulabo at One Vihar National Park, Bhopal. SC appointed a high-level committee that will be headed by Indu Malhotra to inve- investigate in Prime Minister's security breach. First, hell yeah, Guru Gram Haryana. Then you should know Mission Amanat. Mission Amanat, a Indian railway has launched Mission Amanat to help passengers track their lost belongings. 18th Kachai Lemon Festival. Where will it be hosted? It will be hosted or celebrated in Manipur. 8th edition of Kachai Lemon Festival. Then you should know if we are talking about Indian Skills 2021 National Competition, Odisha secured the first place in National Competition of India Skills 2021. In January, Union Defence Minister Rajnath Singh flagged in the first multi-dimensional adventure sport expedition of India in which country? Where was this held? It was held in France. Next, which city of Haryana to get India's first heli hub? It is your Gurugram. We just saw. Next, which state's forest department recently launched India's first mobile app? That is your Urban Forest Park to provide information about parks and forest areas. So, the Urban Forest Park it was launched by whom or which state? It was launched by Telangana. Highly important. Next, Dash became the first city with water metro project with the launch of first electric boats called Muziris. The first electric boat known as Muziris was launched in. Which state? It was launched in Kochi, Kerala. Mark this. Kochi, Kerala launched India's first city with water metro project, and they also launched Muziris, that are the electric boats. Next, India's first coal to methanol plant built by Bhil, where in Hyderabad, Chhattisgarh government launched Rojgar Mission to create job opportunities. Rojgar Mission launched by Chhattisgarh government. Sixteenth edition of India Digital Summit of year twenty twenty two organized by IAMAI, that is your Internet and Mobile Association of India. RIL signed an MOU with Gujarat for investing five point nine five lakh crore rupees in green projects. MEI TY, that is your Ministry of in- Electronics and Information and Technology, organized twenty sixth edition of CISO Deep Dive Training Program under Cyber Surakshit Bharat Initiative. Kerala's Kumbalangi village became India's first sanitary napkin free village we just saw and India's first eco friendly tourist village was also Kerala's Kumbalangi village then Telangana government launched Mana Oru Mana Badi program mark this also coming back name the bank that recently collaborated with Google to improve its customer experience through Abacus 2.0 so to improve the customer experience through abacus 2.0 digital platform the bank that tie up with google was your rbl bank next who was recently appointed as the vice president of aiib vice president of aiib for 3 years is urjit patel urjit patel appointed as the vice president of aiib for 3 years you should know all right and urjit patel is the former governor of rbi next Next question in January Dash was appointed as the new secretary general of OPEC who is the new secretary general of OPEC Haitham Al Ghais has been appointed as the new secretary general of OPEC for how many years for 3 years Government of India announced to celebrate Veer Bal Divas we saw this in yesterday's video how many on 26th of December will be observing Veer Bal Divas to honor Shaib Zada Zorawar Singh and Shaib Zada Fateh Singh they are the son third and third and fourth son of 10th Sikh Guru Guru Gobind Singh so on 26th of December Veer Bal Divas next name the bank that recently partnered with Minaksu Pay to offer biometric based banking payment so the bank is uh, what is the bank tell me the name of the bank is axis bank next question one liners then himachal pradesh chief minister launched apna kangra app 
टू प्रमोट लोकल हैंडीक्राफ्ट थ्रू टूरिज्म जेरी हेमलेट एंड रिसाइड डिस्ट्रिक्ट डिक्लेयर्ड एज द आई रिपीट जेरी हेमलेट दिस इज द नेम ऑफ द विलेज इन रिसाइड डिस्ट्रिक्ट दैट वॉज डिक्लेयर्ड एज द फर्स्ट मिल्क विलेज ऑफ जम्मू एंड कश्मीर इंपॉर्टेंट जेरी हेमलेट दैट इज लोकेटेड इन द रिसाइड डिस्ट्रिक्ट डिक्लेयर्ड एज द फर्स्ट मिल्क विलेज ऑफ जम्मू एंड कश्मीर कर्नाटका बिकेम द फर्स्ट इंडिया स्टेट टू लॉन्च ए वी जी सी सेंटर ऑफ एक्सीलेंस इन बेंगलोरु हरियाणा एंड हिमाचल प्रदेश साइंड एन एम ओ यू टू रिवाइव सरस्वती रिवर वीजसो नेक्स्ट आई एम डी हैज रिलीज क्लाइमेट ऑफ इंडिया रिपोर्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन क्वेश्चन विल बी आस्ट हू रिलीज क्लाइमेट ऑफ इंडिया रिपोर्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन इट वॉज योर आई एम डी देन इंडिया फर्स्ट पैरा बैडमिंटन अकेडमी सिचुएटेड और लॉन्च एट लखनऊ मार्क दिस वेर इज लखनऊ यू पी इंडिया फर्स्ट पैरा बैडमिंटन अकेडमी इन लखनऊ नेक्स्ट क्रिस मॉरिस अनाउंसड हिज रिटायरमेंट फ्रॉम ऑल फॉर्म्स ऑफ क्रिकेट विच कंट्री डिड ही रिप्रेजेंट इन इंटरनेशनल क्रिकेट आई रिपीट क्रिस मॉरिस अनाउंसड हिज रिटायरमेंट फ्रॉम ऑल फॉर्म्स ऑफ क्रिकेट क्रिस मॉरिस इज फ्रॉम विच कंट्री टेल मी ऑल द क्रिकेट फैंस क्रिस मॉरिस इज फ्रॉम साउथ अफ्रीका नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन बुक इज इंडो मिटेबल अ वर्किंग वीमेन्स नोट्स ऑन लाइफ वर्क एंड लीडरशिप दिस इज एन ऑटोबायोग्राफी ऑफ विच पर्सन इट इज एन ऑफ ऑटोबायोग्राफी ऑफ अरुंधति भट्टाचार्य इंपॉर्टेंट मार्क दिस एंड इट विल बी पब्लिश बाय हार्पर कॉलिंस इंडिया नेक्स्ट हु ऑथर द बुक रतन एंड टाटा द ऑथराइज बायोग्राफी रतन एंड टाटा दिस बुक इज ऑथर्ड बाय नवरंग दिस बुक इज ऑथर्ड बाय लेट मी टेल यू इट इज ऑथर्ड बाय नाइंटी नाइन परसेंट आई एम श्योर इट इज ऑथर्ड बाय थॉमस मैथ्यू ऑल राइट हु ऑथर्ड द बुक रतन एंड टाटा ऑथराइज बायोग्राफी दिस बुक इज ऑथर्ड बाय यस थॉमस मैथ्यू ऑथर दिस बुक नेक्स्ट डैश बिकेम द फर्स्ट इंडियन टू ग्रैब वर्ल्ड नंबर वन रैंकिंग इन अंडर नाइनटीन गर्ल्स सिंगल कैटेगरी इन द बैडमिंटन वर्ल्ड फेडरेशन जूनियर रैंकिंग सो हुई Tell me, who secured this ranking? She is Tasneem Meer. Tasneem Meer. Tasneem Meer became the first Indian to grab world number one in under nineteen girls category. All right, highly important. Mark this. Which country recently launched India's first? Or uh, which country launched its first maritime domain awareness satellite constellation from Cape Canaveral? United States of America. So, which country launched its first station? It was launched by South Africa. Next, then Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose Grand Hologram Statue was installed at India Gate. Kerala got the first ever scientific bird at least. Mark this. Mansukh Mandviya launched the CGHS website as well as mobile app. So both were launched. A technology-driven program, Grama One, was launched by Karnataka government. Ramgarh Vist Dhari Sanctuary. Where is it located? It is in Rajasthan, and it has been declared as the fourth tiger reserve of Rajasthan. India's first graphene innovation center. It is set, uh, situated at Thissur, Kerala. Important. India's first graphene innovation center in Thissur, Kerala. Recently, Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas set up the Energy Transition Advisory Committee that was headed by whom? This committee was headed by Tarun Kapoor, who authored the biography we just saw, Ratan and Tata. It is Thomas Matthew. Which city Prime Minister Narendra Modi laid the foundation stone of Major Dhyan Chand Sports University? Major Dhyan Chand Sports University. Where did we saw? It was in. Merit and merit is in UP and it is in built an estimated cost of seven hundred crore rupees. Who was recently appointed as the new chairman and chief executive officer of Railway Board for the tenure up to December twenty twenty two? Who is he? He is Vinay Kumar Tripathi. Mark this. Which is the world's first company to reach three trillion dollar market cap? It is your Apple. Next, Andhra Pradesh government. approved the creation of 13 more district how many district 13 more by andhra pradesh india's largest ever charging station in gurugram haryana and india's largest state or india state that achieved the maximum number of sales of electric vehicles it is your up lok sabha secretary it launched digital sansad app to live proceedings and accessible make this important digital sansad app launched by lok sabha secretary it next PM Narendra Modi hosted first ever Central Asia Summit of 2022. India will convert 150 villages into the village of excellence with the help of Israel. 
नेम द फर्स्ट वीमेन ऑफ कलर हु वॉज रिसेंटली हैड मेड अ सोलो ट्रिप टू द अर्थ साउथ पोल वीमेन ऑफ कलर हु मेड अ सोलो ट्रिप टू द अर्थ साउथ पोल इज वॉट आर वॉट इज हर नेम टेल मी शी इज इट्स एन इजी वन वी हैव डन दिस लेट मी गिव यू हंट शी इज नोन बाय द नेम पोलर प्रीत ऑल राइट शी इज हर प्रीत चंदी मार्क दिस हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट ऑल राइट इंडियन ऑरिजन ब्रिटिश सिख आर्मी ऑफिसर कैप्टन हरप्रीत चंदी बिकेम द फर्स्ट वीमेन ऑफ कलर टू मेक अ सोलो अनसपोर्टेड ट्रैक टू द अर्थ साउथ पोल Which country recently joined as the hundred and second member of International Solar Alliance, which was hundred and first United States of America. So, who is the second one? It is your Antigua and Barbuda, hundred and second member of International Solar Alliance. And International Solar Alliance is a joint effort of India along with France. This was started in two thousand fifteen. Where is the headquarter? Gurugram, Haryana. Name the Indian cricketer who was recently appointed as the brand endorser of Bank of Baroda. So, who is the brand uh, brand ambassador of Bank of Baroda? He, tell me. She is Shefali Verma. She is also an Indian cricketer. All right. Next, who authored Mamta Beyond Twenty Twenty One? This book, Mamta Beyond Twenty Twenty One, authored by Jayanta Ghoshal. Next, some appointments. Vinay Kumar Tripathi appointed as the chairman and CEO of Railway Board. V. S. Pathania takes over as the director general of Indian Coast Guard. Sanjay Rora to hold additional charge of DG A of Shastra Bhima Bal. Amir Shubhani appointed as the new chief secretary of Bihar. Somalia's Prime Minister Mohammad Hussein Robel suspended over allegation of corruption. Vinod Kanan took over as the charge of CEO of Vistara Airlines. Sudan's Prime Minister Abdullah Hamdok announced resignation amid political deadlock. Ajay Kumar Chaudhary and Deepak Kumar appointed as the new executive director of RBI. Next, which organization or which of the following CSIRs organization India's first open rock museum was recently inaugurated by the Ministry of Science and Technology? So, where what was it? Tell me. National Geophysical Research Institute. The following CSIRs organization. This is a department of CSIR that recently inaugurated Open Rock Museum. Which of the following countries has not participated in the multilateral anti-submarine warfare exercise called Sea Dragon Twenty Two that was held in Guam in Western? Pacific. So, which of the following countries did not participate? It is asking. So, among these, only Russia did not take part in this. All the rest four exercises took part in Sea Dragon twenty twenty two. That took part in Western Pacific. In January, Dash was appointed as the new Secretary General of Shanghai Corporation Organization. We just saw this question in one liners. So, Zhang Ming has been appointed as the. SEO Secretary General of SEO for the term of how many years? For three years. The Chinese artificial sun. We saw this East. It was the project that set a new world record for continuous high temperature of plasma operation for how many degree Celsius it operated. I told you it was for hundred and ten. I correct myself. It was for one thousand fifty six seconds, and it. Achieved a temperature of seventy million Celsius, and this project is known by the name East. Thank you, friends. This was our session. I hope you enjoyed it. Also, if you have any trouble regarding login or payment or any other issues, then you can reach to us on our mail that is support at the rate of affairscloud dot com, or you can call us on the number nine six double seven double three three eight six two, and we'll resolve your issue as soon as possible. Also, you should go and check our courses that are available at a very reasonable price, and that will help you to boost your preparation.